Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of August 10th through August 16th and I'm going to be memory planning which means that I am putting down all the stickers and basically scrapbooking or journaling the week after it's already happened. So for this week I'm going to be using this kit from Planning Like a Pro. It's called Beach Bum and it's really fun and summery. So here we have all of the full boxes and we've got a little quote box here that says Splish Splash. Over here we have the bottom washi, some washi strips, some hexagons and circles at the top. Um, those are great for layering and then also some deco pieces. Here we have the date covers, some half boxes and flags, some bow check flags, a weekend banner, these little icons that match the colors of the kit. And then here we have some glitter headers, some sidebar trackers, headers, a movie marquee. And then on this last page, we have some half boxes, quarter boxes, and then these little arrows at the top. And one thing I love about her kits is that she manages to put like so many stickers into her kits because she utilizes like all the little spaces like here at the top. Um, as you can see, every page has some different little layering icons, which is really great. So um, yeah, that's gonna be the kit I use for this week. And if you're interested in watching me plan, then stay tuned. As usual, I first go ahead and place down the bottom washi. And for this week, it was really nice that the washi that came with the kit fit that bottom washi section really perfectly. So I didn't have to do any trimming, which definitely saved me some time. Um, then once I'm done with that, I moved to my sidebar and I decided to leave the August 2020 at the top. So I just go ahead and place down the quote box right underneath. I placed down a habit tracker to track my working out, and then for my happy moments, I used a this week header along with a bow checklist. Then to track my dinners, for this week, I decided to use a strip of washi and the Monday through Sunday box, and then I just placed down a really small strip of washi at the bottom to close out that space. I pulled in the dinner script sticker from Planner Just For You that's in my writing. And then for my workout, I pulled in this gold foiled script from Right Brain Paper Co. I decided to place down a couple pieces of deco at the top, and as usual, I'm super indecisive when it comes to deco. I think I did a little bit better this time around, but I did still make some adjustments. And then I go ahead and place down all my date covers and wrote in the dates myself. For this week, I decided to pull in these gold foiled bow headers, and these are from Nikki Plus 3. I had exactly seven of them in a set, which I believe came in a sampler sheet, and so I thought they matched this kit really nicely. Um, then I used a coffee sticker, and that is from Sweet Ava's Paper, to mark that I had some coffee that morning. I worked from home on Monday. I can't remember where that laptop sticker is from. Um, that was either from the kit or I found that in my leftover stash. And then the gold foiled work from home sticker is from With Love Sticker Co. Initially, I used that half box to mark a phone call that I had for work, but I do later switch it up because I ran out of space to mark the things that I did that day. Um, so you will see that in a couple minutes. Um, first, I moved to the bottom and placed down a half box, and then I used a full box on top of that. In this empty space, I pulled in a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I had quite a bit of me time this week because my boyfriend was out of town. Um, he didn't come home until Friday, and so I had the whole house to myself, which was really nice because it honestly honestly doesn't happen very often. I was almost a little bummed when he came home because I was just having so much fun with my newfound freedom. Um, but anyways, in the half box, like I said, I ended up switching out the phone sticker, which was from Bubba Bear Studio. Um, but I switched it out for this puzzling sticker from Once More With Love because I wanted to mark that I did a puzzle and also a workout that day. At the end of the night, I met up with a friend who was staying at a hotel nearby, and we did a little jacuzzi sesh that night along with some girl talk, which is always nice. So to mark that, I used this really cute heart speech bubble icon, and that is from Planner Just For You. I then moved to Tuesday, and at the very top, I first placed down a quarter box. That Pencils in a Cup sticker is from a shop called Lemon Paper Co. Um, it was one of the first stickers I ever purchased, but I'm not sure if her shop is open right now. Um, but I used that to mark a meeting that morning. Then I wanted to mark that I grabbed some Thai takeout that day, so I used an arrow from the kit with a takeout icon from Once More With Love. I then placed down a full box and on top of it, I used this Zoom meeting sticker from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. And then I also pulled in another work from home sticker and that is from With Love Sticker Co. 
Underneath that, I pulled in a puzzle sticker and that's from Planner Just For You. I added a little foiled bow inside from Chic Chic Designs just to add some foil. And I used that to mark finishing a puzzle that day, which is always super exciting. And then I wanted to mark that I went on a walk with a friend. Um, we actually walked to a yogurt land and grabbed some yogurt together, which was nice. Um, so to mark that, I used a floral deco sticker with a gold foiled shoe on top of that. And that shoe is from Planning Like a Pro. I then used a bow header with a flag sticker from the kit and a camera icon, which is also from Planning Like a Pro, to mark that I did some filming. And then at the end of the night, I watched a ton of Gilmore Girls. So I used a TV icon from the Sparkly Studio to mark that. On Wednesday, I placed down a full box at the very bottom and to cover up that gray header, I actually took a strip of washi from the kit that matched the full box and I just placed it on top so that it could kind of extend that scene. Um, and then above that, I used a half box and another heart icon from Clever Gal Crafts. At the very top, I first started by placing down a work header. Then I used a flag from the kit with another work from home script sticker from With Love Sticker Co. to mark that I worked from home again on Wednesday. Um, then underneath that, I wanted to mark a meeting. So I pulled in this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I then did a quick workout, which I marked using some dumbbell stickers from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and a workout time script sticker in my writing from Planner Just For You. Underneath the bow header, I decided to place down this Pizza Girl sticker from Fox and Pip to mark that I met up with a couple of my friends that night. Again, we went over to my friend's hotel where she was staying and we grabbed some pizza and then sat on the beach and talked. Um, we ended up having a really long heart to heart conversation, which is always nice. And so that's what I marked on the half box that I placed down earlier. That is it for Wednesday, so I go ahead and move on to Thursday. I first started Thursday by placing down a half box and a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had my first Starbucks drink since March when the quarantine started. I've just been making Dalgona coffees at home, so this was my first time grabbing Starbucks in forever, and it was definitely something I wanted to mark. Um, but then I realized I wanted to place down a full box on top of it, so I go ahead and do that and replace the half box underneath. I then placed down a flag from the kit along with a computer icon from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark a morning meeting that I had. And then I was at my new school site that day. Um, so I got to meet a few of my new coworkers, which is really exciting. It's definitely a really weird time to be starting at a new school right now, just because all the students are still doing virtual learning. Um, so it's just been kind of funky, but um, I'm just taking it one day at a time. I then placed down a bow header with a quarter box to mark my dentist appointment that afternoon. The tooth sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co, but I'm pretty sure her shop is now closed. I then used a grocery bag icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that I did some groceries afterwards. And then I watched more Gilmore Girls that night, which was lovely. Um, the gold foiled TV sticker is from Magic Prince Co. And I really don't like the way that I wrote girls, but I didn't want to waste that quarter box. So I just kind of had to deal with it. On Friday, I first placed down a half box at the top to mark that I had some coffee again that morning. The coffee sticker is from Peanut Butter Tacos. And then underneath that, I used a pencil sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark a morning meeting that we had. I decided to add a bow header on top of that. So you see me just moving that pencil sticker down. Um, and then underneath that, I used a to-do header with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did at work that day. We did get lunch provided by the PTA. So I used a sandwich sticker from Once More With Love to mark that. Initially, I placed down a quarter box with a house icon from Right Brain Paper Co., but I decided to add a full box, so I go ahead and move it down. Um, then I realized that I was not left with a lot of room at the bottom, so I trimmed down the full box at the top and the bottom to make a little bit more space. I wanted to use that quarter box to mark that my boyfriend came home that night and I was just gonna write that in off camera. And that night we made some homemade pizza and just watched TV, which was super chill. And so I pulled in this pizza sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. 
Moving to Saturday, I first placed down a header at the very top that came with the kit, and then I pulled in this munchkin sticker from Once More With Love to mark that Saturday was a super hot day. This was when the heat wave here in Southern California started, and that little munchkin was like a perfect depiction of how I was feeling. Um, but anyways, then underneath that, I placed down a full box. I did end up trimming that box down a little bit because I needed some more space like I did the day before. Um, but anyways, underneath that, I used a half box with a bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I did a Gilmore Girls binge all day. Like I literally watched like almost an entire season on that day alone because I was just like super obsessed. Um, so yeah, it was great. I then placed down a washi strip and cut down a bow checklist into two bows to mark some places that we went that day. The foiled today script sticker is from Artbox Stickers and then the grocery icon is from a shop that's not open anymore. At the very bottom, I used this really pretty floral wreath that came with the kit to mark that I had some me time at the end of the night, which is basically just watching more Gilmore Girls because like I said, I was just like super obsessed this week. Um, the me time sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker and then that cozy girl is from Fox and Pip. I then realized that I forgot a bow header on this day, so I go ahead and place it on top of the half box and like I mentioned earlier, I just had to trim off a little bit of the full box to make everything fit. On Sunday, I first started by placing down a full box at the bottom, and then I used a bow header on top of that so I could cover up the gray header on the planner. Moving to the top, I first placed down a remember header. I then used a flag with this really dramatic girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. She's so cute, I love that sticker. Um, but unfortunately, I use that to mark having some tooth pain because my wisdom tooth has been like trying to grow in and I actually have an appointment in a couple days to get it removed, so hopefully everything goes well. Um, but anyways, I then marked that I went and grabbed some lunch and some mochi donuts with a friend. Um, I used a half box from my leftover stack which actually matched this kit really well and the taco sticker is from Hazel sticker underneath that I used a quarter box from Nikki plus three I was starting to run out of boxes at this point so I was pulling in from um, my leftover stash and that puzzle sticker again is from planner just for you and I decorated it the same way as I did earlier in the week with a little bow sticker inside and that is from chic chic designs I placed down another quarter box with this movie night sticker, which um, I don't know where that's from because that's also from my leftover stash. Um, but anyways, I used that to mark watching Coco that night. It was my first time seeing it and oh my gosh, it's so cute. I absolutely loved it. And then above that, I used another camera icon that's from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I did some filming that afternoon. I go ahead and move back to my sidebar to track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys all the stickers that I have left in this kit. Now I'm just giving you guys a vid wiggle so you guys can see all the foiling that I pulled into the spread. I've been super excited to use this kit ever since I saw Tay from Shantae Plans and Shani from Planning Like a Pro use this in a collab that they did. I think it was like a couple months ago, but anyways, ever since I watched their videos, I was so inspired because of course they both just created the most beautiful spreads. So yeah, I've been like dying to use this kit since and I think it worked out super perfectly since this kit is so beachy and I actually got to go to the beach this week. So yeah, all in all, I think it turned out really well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you guys have any questions about where any stickers are from or just anything else in general. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching as usual. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I feel like the spread is just so up my alley. So I really hope you guys love it also. And that is it for this week. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much again, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.